Welcome back to the class, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about roster building once again. More specifically, we're going to be talking about the five characters that I farmed too early. And let me be clear as a disclaimer before we even start. This is not a these five characters are bad because most of them in reality are not. They're actually pretty good characters. But within the context of which I farmed them, it was not a good or wise idea to do it at that time. And not only that, but it was a waste of resources. I could have rearranged my roster if I had saw, seen ahead. I could have made better choices and used my energy or my currency or something else elsewhere. And also, these five characters, they're all going to have a specific reason that maybe you can tie as well to your own roster and not just be specific to example, Sorty, who is first up. Uh, so that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Sorty. I currently have her seven stars. I just got finished farming her as of very recently. And the reason why I regret farming her so early is just because I have no place for her. I don't have the team to give her. I don't have key three geared up. Oftentimes my R2 is used in another team. I can't really put her with leftover droids. And furthermore, I can't even gear her herself. So looking back, it really would have been more beneficial for me as a player to not farm her right out the gate. And again, she's not a bad character, but it would have been wise to wait all the way until she was accelerated, which should be coming up in a couple of months, and then farm her at half, essentially half the energy cost. It's not exactly half the energy cost, but if I have to do this node half the amount of times because the shards are accelerated, we're getting twice the amount of them, and that's a huge benefit for me. That is, I mean, that's six energy back for each time I had to do that, and I probably had to farm this node somewhere around a thousand times. That ends up adding up to a whole lot of energy. So again, Sorty's a really good character, nothing bad about her. She brings the droids to life, but at the same time, looking back, I never really had a place for her, and she even made a few of my farms difficult because she was on a dark side node, if I'm not mistaken, and I was farming Ray during this time, so really just was not good value on my part. If I could go back, I would drop her stars down. I really would, and I think one of the reasons I'm noticing this now, why we're making this video now, is because I actually just in my roster for the first time ever, I have every character except the new except the new characters like Sanastaros or Hondo or the other ones that have come out very recently. I have them all seven stars now, and I've been doing some reflecting on that. So that's Sorty. And again, the reason being, not that she's bad, but A, I don't have a place for her. I don't have the gear to spare to give her. And on top of that, I don't have the I don't really have a use for her this early. I probably will later on, and I'm sure she'll get a data cron. I'll want I'll want to gear up, I'll want to have T3, I'll want to have R2 on the team. Uh, the Jawa doesn't count. He's just a barrier for me to remember that uh, the, what the next character is. Next up is going to be Aiden. Now, this one is really why I had to give the disclaimer right up front. Aiden is not a bad character. Aiden is an amazing character. Wildly good. She's not required for anything, and her Omicron is, is great. It's probably one of the best value Omicrons in the entire game. Why is she here? Well, if you can see at the title, right before we came into this, Gear 11 too good this character and really her team were very functional under geared you could have been running a gear she actually just became accelerated you could have been running a gear love and Aiden and maybe like ro low relics on the rest of her team so death trooper storm trooper short trooper magma trooper whoever you have on there and you could still easily beat cls teams on offense without a problem in reality even building up her relic well in the reality is i didn't have relics giver but even building up her relics doesn't change a whole lot of counters it can in threes when things get messy i personally have had a darth revan one shot by an r8 item but at the end of the day i don't have those resources to give her i have her seven stars now i farmed her a while ago but at the same time i can't take her to relics so her sitting on over there gear 11 beating cls would have really just been fine this was again same concept as sorty as far as energy goes and we will get to other concepts beyond energy but the same concept here is this energy, I could have gotten half that back and it really wouldn't have changed anything. I didn't need to have a, I don't really need to have a relic item for the next six months, at least personally for my account. So again, very similar to Sorty. Character is not bad. I just didn't have a reason to push them beyond gear 12 or gear 11 or whatever it is because a Sorty didn't have the team. And while I didn't have the team, she was completely functional. I guess I should mention the reason why she's so functional at that low of gear is because the Omicron is stupid good. It gives a ton of bonuses and she's going to always revive as long as the other troopers are alive. So she can stay at gear 11 or again, gear nine, and you can take up your tanks or your attackers on the rest of the team that are really old characters that have been accelerated for years 
years ever since acceleration came out and the team just functions fine uh next up is going to be sad bot <laughs> also known as dad bod boba and this there's gonna be a little bit of hate on this character so if you like him i apologize but one of my issues with dad bod boba is he doesn't he's not a part of the best team for bounty hunters in the game as a whole and this is actually different from what i call the pseudo galactic legends that's grand inquisitor malgus star killer and dad bod and i guess afra now is all of these characters even outside of their primary game mode whether it be tw or gac they're not as good but they're still a part of the best team malgus for example he is in the best variation of a sith empire team in tw as same for star killer as well as uh, grand inquisitor grand inquisitor you can say what you want about inquisitors but the best gac team has grand inquisitor there's no there's no way it doesn't and that really just can't be said he is absolutely amazing in tw but my guild hasn't had a tw focus so and again he actually isn't farmed by shards but what i could have done here is i could have allocated all of the conquest currency that i was spending on him to unlock him in three months and i could have thrown that against gear i could have thrown that against signal data i could have thrown that against a ton of stuff but instead i chose to unlock him and i believe it was three or four months when i really could have just gotten the extra shards and ended up getting him somewhere around the six months so that being said he is going to come into the next place here um again different from energy and i guess if you again if you're a very tw focused guild then this probably wasn't the same reality for you for mine it is because i he, again he's just not that useful in gac for me most of the things that he can do either on a dash or a bam squad can also be done by say dengar uh, next up is going to be IP do and again we're, we're starting to experience characters that aren't just in energy so the first two characters were energy uh, Boba Fett was a conquest character IPD most of the way that people farm him now and the way that I farmed him was actually through the bounty hunter missions that come up once a week you have a choice between a number of characters and I looked at IPD and I actually prioritized him ahead of a lot of the other characters because it was the only real way that I could get him I believe he's also in the same one as Han Solo and if you are there and you have the option I would really I would favor almost every single character over him again not that ipd is this terrible character but i just haven't used him at all and i again focused him because oh this is the only place i can get him so this makes sense and that type of mentality is typically a good idea like we're talking we've been recently talking about buying cam exclusively through the get three store when in reality um that's a great idea for him but it wouldn't have been a good idea for imperial pro grade if you're not going to use the character and i guess i should have actually made this comment back on dad bob but this could probably actually be tied uh, to ben solo as well if you see a conquest character coming out or a tv character or whatever the character is and you see that you don't really have a home for them maybe do just take the back seat continue to get your red crate continue to get your data crons assuming that you can do those things and just slow farm this character over the time and really start using that currency in a lot more valuable areas being again uh the gear 12 pieces as well as signal data i know this this doesn't, isn't really applicable to me so i don't want to put it in the list but a very similar character along those lines for a lot of people is ben solo ben solo is great for me he changes raid dramatically especially in 3v3 but that being said if you don't have ray or jtr the dude's kind of useless i mean at, at best he's going in a star killer team and he has an armor shred but i don't I don't think that's really better than visa so if you're having to choose to gear up one you probably don't gear up him unless you're about to unlock ray i don't know but basically what i'm saying is for the future for these type of characters really measure out whether or not that character can actually be a part of your team and if you need to rush them like i did again that we're talking about regrets uh, so we have ip do again through a different game mode where i should have been prioritizing other characters even though it was the only way to find him in there it still wasn't that much uh or wasn't that great a value for me and last but not least maybe uh, no not least is omega why is omega here right now so she is the best fifth in a bad batch squad but again very similar concept to our first two characters she is on a 20 energy fleet node that is really valuable currency that is so much gear 12 gear that i could have been using against other characters and the reason why i picked specifically her is because even though she's the best option in Bad Batch, she's easily replaced. If you're trying to use Bad Batch to beat Geos or General Grievous, or I even think like Qui-Gon Jinn, like most, like a lot of the counters that Bad Batch are usually going against, Chuck T, Cody, Sarge, all characters that are already, you know, required for, I believe, JMK or maybe Lord Vader that you would get along your process. 
I, I really didn't need to rush her, even though I'm glad I have her, even though I'm glad I have her at Relic 1. She, I do think she adds some, some things to the team. She closes margins later on in the game in a little bit harder matchups, uh, like, say, Adrad or... Um, or sortie that I've, I've used her to counter against she's really nice in those areas but at the same time i didn't need to do that immediately i could have used the, those resources elsewhere waited till she hit the year of acceleration and then gone for her so this really these are right the, again the five characters that i regret farming as early as i did overall disclaimer these characters aren't bad but try to have wisdom and when you apply things one of the things that didn't come up here and i think it's probably important to note none of these characters are requirements and that is where it gets really hairy because we didn't really know 100 percent if sortie was going to be a requirement or not but there are some tells every once in a while like Aiden, the developers actually told us up front that Aiden and second sister together wouldn't be required for anything we ended up seeing second sister as for gi very shortly later on uh, but that being said yeah again a, a lot of not a whole lot but quite a bit of wasted energy in going after these characters so again whenever a conquest character comes out or a new marquee or whatever it is really try to weigh it against the other options and ask yourself okay i can get this character but can i use this character because that's ultimately what it comes down to or if this character can be used at a lower rate like Iden can that is going to be it for today guys thank you for watching and as always stay awesome Psst.